Now that we have a successful connection to the Endian firewall device, and we've been able to open up the setup wizard through the browser-based interface, the best thing to do is to walk through the initial configuration of the Endian firewall using this browser-based setup tool. But before we do that, I'd like to talk about the other way of managing the Endian firewall device, and that is through the command line interface. There are two ways of managing the Endian firewall device using a command line interface. One is to go through the Ethernet and contact the device over its IP address over an Ethernet cable in the green zone using secure shell access. And the second method of achieving a command line interface to the Indian firewall device is using a console connection through the console port using a serial rollover cable and terminal emulation software. In order to do this, you're going to need terminal emulation software like PuTTY or TerraTerm. I will go ahead and launch the PuTTY program. From the PuTTY configuration screen, you have both options of SSH and a serial connection. SSH is highlighted by default. Port 22 is selected by default, and all you have to do is put in the IP address that you want to connect to over SSH. I will put in the IP address of the Indian firewall device and select Open. You can see that there is a network error and the connection is refused. That's because the Indian firewall device by default does not have SSH enabled until the device has been registered on the Indian network or it's been manually configured in the SSH menu. So to be able to SSH into the Indian firewall device, we're going to need to finish the initial setup wizard using the browser-based interface and then come back to SSH into the device. We can, however, achieve a serial console connection to the Endian firewall device. I will launch PuTTY again, and this time I'll select Serial. Now we'll need to create some serial settings for this connection. So I'll select Serial down here at the bottom, and I'll change the speed to 115200. Data bits set to 8, stop bits set to 1. We can leave everything else as is and click Open. I will click in the window and hit the space bar, and you can see that this is the console management interface for the Indian Firewall appliance. If we need to troubleshoot our network address settings or we've forgotten the management URL, you can see them up here at the top. Let's look at the shell and getting command line access. So we'll put in a zero here. And you can see that we're met with the Indian Firewall Enterprise and we have a command line interface here. At the prompt, I'll type in help and hit enter. And you can see we're given a menu of choices. These are commands that can be run in unprivileged mode. To get to the administrative commands, we're going to need to use the login command. I'll type login and hit enter, and it's asking me for the root password. Now, even though we haven't set up the secure shell access yet, the Endian firewall does have a root password, and that is Endian. So I'll just type in the word Endian and hit enter, and you can see that I now have root access. Notice how the prompt has changed and it now says root right here. Now if I want to get to the bash shell, all I need to do is type in bash, and I'm given a bash root shell. You can see here, I can put in a pwd command and print the working directory. You can see I'm in roots directory. I'll do a change directory, dot dot, go up one directory, and type the ls command, and you can see here is the root file system. At the root of the file system, all of the directories that are available. I'll log out of the system. We'll hit exit, and then log out, and I'm back to the console management interface. Now, off screen, I decided to go back to my browser interface and finish the initial setup wizard to get a quick configuration up and running. 
I did this off screen since there is another video tutorial that covers the initial setup wizard. So with the system now available, let's see if we can enable secure shell access. From the system menu, which is highlighted here, I'll click on SSH access, and you can see that enable secure shell access is not yet activated. So all I need to do is click on this button here and take it to on. And you can see the secure shell is being started and allow password based authentication. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'll select save. And we should be able to now SSH into our Indian firewall device. Let's test it out. I'll go back to the desktop, launch PuTTY, SSH is selected on port 22, put in the IP address of the Indian firewall device, select open, and you can see that I met with a security alert warning that do we want to accept this security certificate. Of course we do because we're connecting to the Indian firewall device, so we want to accept this security certificate. So I'll hit yes and log in. I'm met with a login screen here. Log in as root, hit enter, and then put in the password that I set up through the initial setup wizard. And you can see I met with the Indian command line interface and there's my root access here at the bottom. I'll exit. So that covers using both the console access and secure shell access to get a command line interface. Before I leave this video, I want to point out one other scenario. So far, connecting from our web browser to the Indian firewall has been easy. All we had to do was connect an Ethernet cable from our laptop to switch port 1 on the Indian firewall device because we knew that switch port 1 is Ethernet 0 and is the green zone on the Indian hardware. But what if we have our own hardware? I have a PC here that has two Ethernet NICs. How do I know which port to plug into on my own hardware to represent Ethernet 0 and the green zone? Now to do this, the best way to solve that problem is to connect a keyboard to your Indian basically software solution on your own custom hardware and establish a VGA connection to the device. You can see here that I've got my keyboard and I have a connection to my Indian firewall using the software solution and my own custom hardware. All I need to do now is get to a command line interface through the console and I can use the if plug status command to figure out which of my NICs is Ethernet 0. To get information on which of my NICs on my PC is registering with the Indian software, all I need to do is type in 0 and get to the command line interface. I'll type login and use the default root password of Endian. I'll hit enter and you can see now that I'm logged in as root. Once you've logged in as root, you can type in the following command. If if plug status, all one word, if plug status, hit enter and you can see the status of the NICs detected by the Endian software. You can see there's my loopback interface, LO, ETH0 unplugged, ETH1 unplugged, and you can see that all of the Ethernet interfaces are unplugged at the moment. I will take my Ethernet cable and plug it in to one of the NICs on the system and then issue the command again. And you can see now that ETH0, the link, has been detected. And so I know that ETH0 is now the first NIC on the Endian firewall system and that this is going to be the network interface that I'm going to use to connect to the device at 192.168.0.15.